more pain for Bitcoin. We've just fallen down to 15,460. Bitcoin trying to recover back above the 16,000 level. But I've just seen some data which seems to appear as though we are three months away from potentially seeing our next bore. And I'm going to show you exactly the levels in which I'll be buying what I'm doing in this market, plus whether I think we can recover right now or see some more downside. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the links in the description if you want to buy any cryptocurrency. And as you can see here, guys, we felt exactly as predicted. We were forming this symmetrical triangle. We broke to the downside. I said the first target point was this pivot point here. You can see we tried to hold some support before falling all the way down to our last price target at the bottom of the wedge, exactly at the 15,500 low from when FTX initially collapsed. So this has played out exactly as we expected. A lot of people are getting excited. Oh no, the blood has stopped. No, it's very clear that we were going to come down and test these levels. I'm going to give you my next price target for where I think we're going to get to. I've already been buying the dip. I had limit orders set at those lows, so they triggered. So I've managed to get some more. You're seeing we're now progressing back up here. A strong four hourly candle bringing us back above 16,000. But more importantly, what is going on in the markets? Why is this happening? Well, we know there's a bunch of FTX contagion, right? We know that Bitcoin is still worried about what is going on with companies such as Genesis, who is trying to raise a billion dollars, but they're struggling. Nobody wants to help them raise this $1 billion that they're looking for, and they're going to be close to filing bankruptcy. What knock-on effect could this have to GBTC? What knock-on effect can it have to exchanges like Gemini, who rely on the Genesis platform for their earn program? A lot of contagion still to be unpacked by this market, and the pain has not yet gone away. But look at this. This is the major story I wanted to share with you today. And that is that more than 50% of Bitcoin addresses are now in a loss. If you guys remember, a few months ago, we were looking at the on-chain metrics. And one of the things I said was that we need another wick down. And a lot of people are saying, hang on a second, why do you feel that way? And I was saying this, let's just zoom back out. And let's just go to the daily chart. So we were saying that when we we're in this channel. So if you look at this channel here, after we fell to 17,600, we started recovering and we got as high here as 25,000. And in that movement, a lot of people were like, no, we're ready for our next bull run. But I just didn't quite feel it was right. One, a percentage drawdown from all time highs wasn't quite as low as previous bear markets, right? Even to this point, we've not been as far as 85% down. An 85% retracement from the 69,000 high brings you to about 10,000. So we've not had a huge retracement down. But the other metric we were looking at is the percentage of wallets the percentage of people out there who are in loss. And again, that percentage was never as low as previous cycles, which got me thinking, how could this be a bottom? There's still more juice left to squeeze out. There's not full capitulation, right? Like we've seen in previous markets. Well, one of those things have now triggered. If you look at this now, you can see that just over 51%, that's 24.6 million addresses, are below the purchase price, okay? So that means somebody has bought Bitcoin, over 51% of people who own Bitcoin right now the price of Bitcoin currently today is lower than when they bought. So they're in a loss. Their portfolio is red. Okay. Now, to put this into perspective, we've got to look at what did the previous cycle show us? Well, in 2019, in January, 55% of those wallets were in loss. So we're just 4% away from that. Okay. We then bottomed at 3,200 before then working our way back up to the highs. Well, we didn't go straight to the highs. We went from 3,000 up to 14,000, remember? Got rejected, came down again. Then we had our big bull run. So the question is, could we be now forming that bottom? If you look at the 2015 bear market, that percentage was 62%. Now, I can buy in that that percentage can reduce. It doesn't have to be 62%. It doesn't even have to be 55 But 51 now sounds healthy, right? You, you don't expect it to be 45 Yes, there's a maturity in the market and less people need to be in a loss. But this is some serious loss now. This is some serious pain in the market, which makes you think we're much, much closer to the bottom than we are not, right? And that's what should give you confidence to say, hang on, now, the time, now is the time when there's peak fear. Now the time is when there's extreme fear in the markets. Do I need to be buying? And I, for one, of course, do your own research. I'm buying. I bought the dip at 15,500 again, had my limit order set. I told you that yesterday, guys, and the day before, I believe. So that executed. I've got more staggered in at lower price points. Remember, I'm looking for that 14,000 level. I made that very clear with you guys that the 14,000 level is what I'm looking out for. There's no point in me shouting out price points such as 8,000, 6,000. I'm looking at 14,000 as the next level because on the previous cycle, which we're just speaking about here, we ran up to 20,000, we came all the way down to three, we then ran up to 14 on this peak here before we got rejected. So that's where I'm getting that 14,000 level from as the next key level here for Bitcoin. So I'll have some limit orders closer to that level for me to accumulate some more. Doesn't necessarily mean we'll head there, 
but I've got that's the pragmatic level for me to have ready to buy the dip if I want to get some more as well. Now look at this, guys. Coming back to the wallet addresses, look at this historically. So we've just fallen below that black line. The black line shows you when you're above 50%, so more than 50% are in losses right now. If you look at when that's happened before, happened in this here, that was the pandemic. And then if you go back to the 2019 bull cycle, which we just went through. So this clearly is an indicator that we are getting to that peak fear level. We are getting to that point where people are opening up their portfolio and they're seeing red. They're going, I hate crypto. Crypto is a scam. It's the worst. If you've got conviction, if you believe in this is where things are going, you've got to look at the price point and say, hang on a second. Bitcoin at 15,500, 15,600, even 16,000, who cares? This is insane. These are super, super cheap prices, which we haven't seen for a very, very long time on crypto. So that's where I stand right now, guys. Yes, it's a difficult time. Yes, there's still fears around contagion, but this is the time when either you're buying or you're not. And you've got to ask yourself, if you're not buying now, if you're not buying your car when it's discounted by you know 75%, when are you going to buy it? Do you not believe in that car? Do you not like that car? Do you not have conviction? Or do you need the masses to give you conviction? Do you need the candles to be green? Do you have green candle disease? You need the candles to be green for you to buy. I personally know I, I buy when blood is on the streets. I've trained myself to do that. I, you know, I'm not superhuman. I used to always want that conviction from the markets too. When, things are, when you buy something and it's green the next day, it feels so good. But when you can learn to detach yourself from the charts and go, what is the technology? What is the price point? Do I believe that's a fair value? No, I'm going to buy some more. Right? And I'm going to build my portfolio. I'm, I'm going to wait a couple of years, sit on it, and watch this grow. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be giving you these types of short updates as I am traveling for the next couple of weeks. But don't forget to subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Go watch this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.